Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read here for you guys. And um, I'm trying something new here, uh, Pisces. I've, I've got, uh, there's this little chart on my YouTube channel, and it YouTube tells me what are the best times uh, for me to upload videos. And so... <clears throat> The vast majority of the whole week is telling me 4 a.m. So I'm just going to give it a try and we're going to see how this works out. I'm just going to um, start posting my videos at 4 a.m. and see if it makes any difference. I mean, I don't know. So I'm just going to, I'm just testing it. <laughs> okay, you guys. So it might seem like I'm a little late, but actually I'm really early. <laughs> okay. So like 4 a.m. is like 7 a.m. Eastern time. All right. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. But what's going on with Pisces? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Mm, so they have knotties. Knotties. Huh. Nathis is either learning or lacking, and it's usually probably lacking. It could be lacking something, Pisces. So we got Urus. And I feel that many of you are really tired. All right, Urus is, uh, it's also talking about a missed opportunity. Um, Pisces, but it could be like, um, it could also be like something that you're going through in your mind, all right? It could be like, uh, like just going through something, you know, over and over in your mind or something. What's going on with Pisces? Ah, so we have, okay, <laughs> so we have the blank rune here. This is a decision, and, you know, Pisces, this is a decision that you're going to need to make, otherwise you may, you may miss out on something, all right? So, yeah, you don't want to miss out on something. If you don't want to miss out on something, then you got, you know, to make some sort of decision, all right? Menez. Menez. So this is in the Pisces. Menez here is in the advice column. All right. So and it's telling me that, you know, somebody's going to offer you some sort of assistance. You're going to be offered. You're going to be offered some sort of a... Uh, an opportunity or some sort of an some sort of an op of an opportunity or you're going to be offered some sort of assistance in some way because I do see that you're lacking something here all right so that's why I'm seeing this but this is good news at least you're not like you know just left you know what I mean you have some sort of assistance coming Tiwas, Tiwas. So this is gonna, this is, uh, this is gonna move you forward, Pisces. This is gonna move you out of this lacking. All right. This is some sort of a decision that you need to make to, to, you know, to get you to move forward. And it's, it's going to be very obvious, whatever this decision is, Pisces, all right? You're going to know. It's going to be different for everybody, but um, the decision is going to involve uh, something that's going to um, put you forward, you know. This is victory. And so this is, this is the main course here, and this is what we want, right? 
You'll know. You'll know what it is. What's going on with Pisces? Anzus. Anzus. Hmm. Anzus is, uh, is a rune of uh, communication. So there's going to be some sort of communication, Pisces. It's going to put you forward. This is usually talking about something to do with your job or your money. You know, maybe some of you guys are actually lacking a job. And if you're lacking a job, Pisces, this is going to be your opportunity to get that job that you want. Because this is this is really, if like, say, if you're going on a job interview... You're going to get the job. You're going to get it, all right? Um, and it's going to move you forward. You're going to get out of this lacking, all right? And I think what the what the Urus here is talking about is uh, to get out of your mind and get, and get to moving forward, all right? Just forget what's in the mind and just move forward because this is kind of like hanging you up. All right, you don't, you know. What's going on with Pisces? Tiwas. So now Tiwaz is uh, Sagittarius energy. And this person, uh, whoever this is, they want to move forward with you. This is probably some sort of a, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, this is probably some, some uh, employer, Pisces. This could be somebody with Sagittarius in their chart. They could be offering you a job. They're offering you some sort of assistance. It's your decision. It's your decision to take this, uh, to take them up on this, because otherwise you'll lose out. All right. So it looks like it. It could be a really good. It could be a really good position, uh, Pisces, um, if you're looking for a job. If you're not looking for a job, Anzu says communication of all kinds. So you'll probably be getting some sort of a message from somebody with Sagittarius. And generally speaking, you know, Anzu is a, a form of all communication, but it is also, uh, it's usually word of mouth. That usually you can hear it. So it's like a phone call or um, in person, okay, generally. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Pisces. We got Pertho. Pertho. Wow. Hmm. I gotta think about that, Pisces. You know, Pertho is talking about um something unknown, all right? Um, yeah, we're going to pull another rune. No, this is like the mystery rune. i got to kind of think about that. What's going on here with Pisces? Wong Yu is happiness and joy. Um, this person could appear very, very happy. And uh, there could be something unknown here uh, about this person here, Pisces. There's some sort of a mystery about this person. Uh, but it's not, a, it's nothing bad. Okay, it's nothing bad. You know, um, if this was the other way around, 
I would kind of be really suspicious on that. That would really make the read super confusing. <laughs> but whatever this person here that has Sagittarius in their chart, you know, there's something here that's mysterious about them. But uh, they, they come off very, very happy. And I think that this is a really good opportunity for you, Pisces. Um, I do. What's going on with Pisces? Let's get you some cards here. What's going on with Pisces? See, look at this. The seven... <laughs> The seven of the seven of cups. So you got to make some sort of a choice. See, look at this. You got the blank room, and, and then and then right here. This is the same thing. It's like making a choice. You just, um, yeah, you got to make the right choice. But you'll know which which what is right and what is wrong. You know, just look at things. Really, look at things with a, from a. Look at things from a um, a broad point of view, okay? Um, don't don't look at anything with uh, rose colored glasses. But Pisces, um, this is I I feel that this is something that can really propel you forward. I do. So you know you've got that decision to make. What else is going on here with Pisces? That's a trip that that card comes out, yeah. And then you have the Five of Swords. So maybe there was some sort of a, maybe you're having some sort of a conflict with somebody, Pisces. And maybe that's why you're having a hard time here. Um, what else is going on with Pisces? King of Pentacles. Well, now this is talking about your money. And I see this over here with Anzus. And I also see, um, you know, assistance here. Why is the Five of Swords there? Why is the Five of Swords there? Why is the Five of Swords there? King of Wands. Huh. Why is the Five of Swords there? And that's you, Pisces. Pisces energy. Queen of Cups. You know, the King of Wands is uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy as well. Just like this over here. This is Tiwaz. This person here is... Uh, doesn't like to say take no for an answer, Pisces. <laughs> this person don't like to say take no for an answer. Maybe you kind of don't want the job. I don't know. See, look at this. I, I don't really quite get this. Uh, let's get one more card for the Five of Swords. Yeah, your work. Your work. Okay, so you've been having, you're, you're like having some sort of a conflict with someone or something about your work. And here it is. You're going to get a job. Pisces, this is your, this is your uh, challenge here. You need to make your choice so you can get your money. <laughs> yeah, and with when I see this, this is just telling me, Pisces, this is talking about some sort of a job. Yeah. Wow. You know, it looks pretty good, really. It's the choice is yours. <laughs> but I say you got to make some sort of a choice. Let's see what's what else is going on with Pisces. What's going on here with Pisces? The serpent. Now this is going to kind of like explain this here, I think, a little bit because the serpent is like one of those really weird cards, um, and it, it's going to be talking about um, 
it's going to be talking about this Five of Swords. Here, I'll just lay it here. You're going to see it on the screen anyway. I, I'm kind of like being retarded here because <laughs> I'm making sure that you can see the cards, but you're going to see it anyway. I'm going to throw it on top of the thing. So, But this Serpent is kind of like a really deep card. And it, so let's, let's get into it, and then we'll kind of like put it together because... Um, sometimes when I get with these really tricky reads like this, these oracle cards, you know, save the day. Okay. So the serpent of power is, uh, of the Kundalini stirring within your chakras gently is asking you to embrace its mystery. And now look at this. Pertho is talking about mysteries. Embrace this mystery. Yeah, it's something that you don't know about. This is some sort of a job here. Okay. This is some sort of a job here that uh, that you don't really, you might not have a, a lot of experience in. All right. Shed the old skin that you have been attached to and welcome the vulnerable pink vulnerability that will bring you a fresh experience of your life. See, this is bringing you a fresh experience in your life. All right? Your passion and sexuality are awakening and can be scary. Trust the wisdom of the serpent to transform your sensual energies into a beautiful, original manifestation. Wow. That's deep. But yeah, this is talking about Pertho, and it's also, you know, I thought it had, I want to pull another one. I thought it had something here more to do with, uh, I must be thinking of a different card. What else is going on here with Pisces? The rattle. The serpent and the rattle. What a trip. <laughs> Sounds like a rattlesnake, right? Let's see what, let's see what this is talk, talking about. The rattle comes to invite you to work with the tools of spirit, but be careful. They are very sharp and can hurt you and others if they are not used mindfully. Set your old tools aside and take up the drawing instruments of spirit. You are... You are consciously stepping into a partnership with the divine. This is the time for congrat congratulous deeds. Congorious, de congorious deeds. Gosh, where did I learn how to read, right? <laughs> Do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression. Okay. This is your hesitation right here. All right. Do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression. And this is where your conflict is. That's within yourself. It's a conflict within yourself. It's got to be, right? It's a conflict within yourself. You know, this person here doesn't really want to say no to you. They want, they want you, Pisces. They want you to go to work. Yeah. So even though this is something that you may not be too familiar with here because you got Pertho, um, the rattle's telling you to, to go with it. You know? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty deep. That's I like it. Okay. <laughs> and I hope you guys stay all the way till the end of the reading because, you know, sometimes... And it happens a lot. I'll do a reading, you know, and then all of a sudden I'll see something that really makes more sense. And then I'll kind of like, yeah, it, it, every little piece of this reading kind of goes, goes together. And I notice that some people just, you know, watch half of it and then click out of it. And then you don't really get the whole reading because when I'm halfway through, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean, you guys? So 
I don't know. I, I think a lot of a lot of you guys watch to the end, but some do not. I'm looking at the stats, you know, on my YouTube. So what's going on here with Pisces? Hmm. Okay. Is that that's one, two, three, four? Okay. Let's see what this one's talking about here, Pisces. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the name of this uh, particular rune here, Pisces, <clears throat> is called uh, Starif. All right. And by the way, I didn't probably, if you're new, you guys, these are called the Awarm runes. They're from Ireland, from ancient Ireland. And it's a language and an alphabet. <laughs> right? So anyway, now that I've told you that, Starf is a piece of the black thorn tree. All right? And Starf offers the opportunity to learn from challenges. He reminds us that we are born through the trials and we endure. When Starf appears in a reading, it is important to examine any outside influences that may be controlling us. Starf also encourages us to draw on our spiritual strength to accept our shadow selves and move forward on our journey towards enlightenment. Wow. I like it. So yeah, this this conflict here is in within yourself. All right? And don't let this get in your way, okay? Don't let that get in your way. I want to. I want to go back here and reiterate that because, um, yeah. Just because. Where the heck is it here? That's forty. Forty-three. Okay. Do 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 do. Do not let your hesitation get in the way of your expression. Okay. Do not let. Do not let that hesitation here get in the way of your expression don't don't do it <laughs> all right so yeah and you know i think this is this is really good news if you're looking for work it's up to you but um somebody definitely wants to communicate with you if this doesn't have anything to do with the job um, somebody wants to communicate with you. I kind of feel that it does because I see the eight of pentacles there. So that's somebody working. So that tells me that whoever I'm reading for, you know, you're going to get a job and you're going to get out of this lacking and it's going to make you happy. Just go for it. You ain't got nothing to lose. That's for sure. Look at this. You have everything to gain, but nothing to lose. So, you know, yeah. So what's going on with Pisces here? Step out of your comfort zone. Exactly. Step out of your comfort zone, Pisces. All right? That's the whole deal. And then you're going to have victory. All right? The bottom of the deck, it says, believe in the impossible blue moon. All right, Pisces? All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. And also... Uh, you guys, let me know what you think about the new time. If you, you know, if you disagree with it, if you don't like it, if, you know, just let me know. Um, I just, I'm just looking at the st statistics on my YouTube page and it's telling me 4 a.m. is a good time to, to shoot these videos out. So I'm going to give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> all right, you guys. So anyway, that's where I've been. So, but uh, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. All right. Bye for now, Pisces. See you tomorrow.